Welcome to Oz Nomad Destinations. Follow us as we caravan our way around Australia. This is Ed and I'm Beck, and we're finding you the best free and budget camp spots Oz has to offer. Fishing, crabbing and hiking our way through this awesome country. For notifications, click subscribe and hit the bell and that will keep you up to date. 80 kilometres south of Agnes Waters and 73 kilometres north of Bundaberg, 17 kilometres from Rosedale and down 10 kilometres of dirt road is the campgrounds. It's not much from the front gate, but it's one of the best surprise packages we've ever been to. Once you drive up to the lodge, the whole property changes. There's a huge dam with a jetty and kayaks. So we're at Midskid Ricks and we nearly didn't come here because of the reviews on wikis and on hip camp but now we're really happy we did it's very beautiful it's so green there's a boat ramp big open spaces to camp in they did get rain overnight and all the floodways are flowing and it's just gorgeous right on the edge of Baffle Creek And this afternoon we're going to go catch a fish. You can camp on the open grass areas, either facing the creek or the wetlands. You can't really see the creek from the sites, but you can pick up the cool breezes. There was heaps of room when we were there, even with 20 odd campsites filled. It was quiet and peaceful. There was plenty of room to park your boat trailers with an on-site gravel boat ramp, which is accessible at all tides. This was about the only spot for us land-based people to fish, but most of the campers had boats. We caught a couple of small brim. The word was that the grunter were on the chew but it wasn't our time. It was just beautiful sitting there. There was a group fishing beside us and they had set up a wine and cheese platter. I was a tad jealous. Camping was $12.50 per person per night. If you were over 60, that was $10 per person per night. The internet and phone service was a bit hit and miss, but with our new antenna, we had internet most of the time from either either at the Winfield Tower or the Deep Water Tower. The grass was so green and soft that you didn't even need to wear shoes. That was such a nice change. The local kangaroos all had joeys, which was just cute. They were super quiet and would hang around for most of the day. The wetlands over the back of our site brought in all kinds of bird life. Spoonbills, egrets, brogers and ducks. The crazy plover was crazy because it had four new chicks and it was making sure it was staying that way.
the campgrounds is right on the side of the Saltwater Creek. I'm guessing there would be great fishing and crabbing and having a boat would be awesome. When it rains, the freshwater floodways run and that fills into the wetlands. There was heaps of little hideaway spots to camp at this property. The bush around the dam, and near the wetlands area. There's even little private camps here that you can camp in. Surrounded by trees and a bit of privacy. And here we got a bit of a camp kitchen with some garbage bins, a couple of toilets, one for the disabled water, tables. There were a couple of camp kitchens, a small shower block with an extra cost for hot showers and a washing machine next to the shower block. Remember this is a bush camp not the Ritz. Everything was clean and tidy. It looks like we're gonna get a wet butt. Hey? It was awesome sitting there watching the storm come over. We filled a couple of buckets with water for washing up and it fair bucketed down. I was really glad it didn't hail. The next day we did a day trip out to Rules Beach, about 80 kilometres away over Eulala Creek, heading towards the township of Baffle Creek. We passed four emus on the way. We arrived at Flat Rock Boat Ramp and had a fish. Couldn't even catch a cold, let alone a fish. We tried for about an hour, but no luck, didn't even get a bite. There is a great little park here, so we cooked up a bit of lunch, fed some annoying little butcher bird.
and Ed said I wasn't allowed to play on the swings, that they were for kids. So then we headed home, we came across another boat ramp, which I think was the Baffle Creek boat ramp, and then headed to the shop for an ice cream. Baffle Creek has a corner store with fuel, a bottle out and a farm supply shop. That's Pig Island right there in the middle of the creek if you're wondering whereabouts this property is situated. If you're still here at this time, thank you. And if you can take a minute to subscribe and hit the like button, that really helps pay for the fuel. We really enjoyed our time at Midskin Rick's Lodge and would recommend it. Anyway, that's it for this week. Keep in contact, stay happy, and we'll see you next week.